Hello all and welcome to my channel DevOps Mela. This is Rohit Singh and welcome to a new topic which is based on Git security. Now what exactly this topic is all about, which tool I will be using and everything I'll give you in a minute. But before that, let's understand the problem statement. So the problem statement is whenever we do work with Git, we tend to ignore and we are uh, we by mistakenly we tend to commit sensitive information and what exactly is this sensitive information this could be a access key this could be a user id password this could be a api certificates so these are some sensitive information which we tend to commit and we tend to push it into a remote repository now what happens when you push sensitive information in remotely? There are bots which is crawling all over GitHub, GitLab and they're looking for such API keys. And once they come across such keys, they can exploit your infrastructure, they can exploit your application and XYZ. We don't know what they can do with your things. Now let me show you a use case, a classic use case before we jump on and start talking about solutions now there was a use case which a developer has shared what exactly has happened by mistakenly this guy has published s3 keys in github account uh, as i said earlier bots are crawling all over github and using that s3 key see using that s3 key people were able to spin up EC2 instance and let me tell you this key was removed within five minutes the, the developer has identified his mistake and he removed the key within five minutes still there were more than 140 EC2 instance was spinned up using the S3 key he was not even aware that using S3 key APIs they can spin up EC2 instance also and he got charged around $2,375. Okay, that is a different thing that Amazon has refunded all this amount. But this is this is a classic example. Like if you put any sensitive data into a remote repository, there's a great chance that you may end up end up with this situation. Now, this is the problem statement. Now, what is the solution for it? The solution is pre-commits. It could be pre-commit hook or your pre-push commits. So what exactly they do? This commits uh, basically what they do, they look for sensitive information such as access keys, access token, SSH keys. We often tend to accidentally do a git commit. So this hook commits, what they do, they are installed on developer's workstation. And they will help you to avoid such accidental git commits. So basically at the local level itself, so at the commit level if you want to enable this, they will start prompting you and they will start throwing errors stating you are trying to push some sensitive information. They purely work on regex base, so it's a regular expression pattern matching what it does and with the pattern matching it, it will filter out sensitive data. If you want if you want you can even avoid such checks you can bypass such checks if you want being a developer if you don't want all this thing okay even bypassing is an option which is available right now now how do we install such commit hooks on your local station how do we do it so this can be done using a tool called talisman that's it this is the tool which we are talking about talisman talisman guys it's a open source tool okay it's an open source tool which will help you install pre-commit and pre-push commit hooks on your workstation. Now, Talisman, this is the GitHub repository for Talisman guys. So, big shout out for ThoughtWorks. This is their tool they have created and they are building this tool right now. It, it is open source. You can go and use it. There's no issue. Okay. So, what this tool is all about? So if you talk about this tool, this is all about Talisman is a tool that install a hook to your repository, making sure that potential secrets or sensitive information do not leave the developer's workstation. Okay, let's go back to the PPT. As, as we said, does not leave to the developer's workstation. 
it validates the outgoing changes for things that look suspicious like potential SSH keys, authorization tokens, private keys, etc. There are two ways you can install Talisman guys. One is through global installation. So what is the benefit of global installation? So Talisman will thus be presented not only on your existing Git repository, but also in any new repository that you init or clone. So automatically it will be present there as well. Okay. And there's other way of installation. It's single project installation. So Talisman will be present only in a single Git repository where you go and set this up. So as I said earlier, Talisman works on pattern matching. It looks for encoded values. It will look for file content. It will look for file size. It will look for credit card number and etc. Now let's go ahead and set up this Talisman locally. Before that, I have a global repository created in Azure repos just to demonstrate. Let me go back. This is my Azure repos. This is my remote repository. As if now I have nothing inside it. I will simply clone this repository and get this done locally. So this is, I'm using a git bash to do that. So let me go to the desktop first. And let's do a quick git clone. Okay. Um, as if now there's no Talisman or anything as such installed on my system. So I'll go and go to the repository. What is the name of the repository? DevSecOps. Okay, I'm inside the repository. I'm currently in my main branch. If you go and check the status. Okay, so that's a main branch. There's nothing inside it right now. Now I need to go and set up Talisman before I start pushing things. Now, before that, I have some sensitive data, guys. So, this is the data what I have. I'm creating a secure files, going into the secure files. Then, I'm creating a file one with just DevOps Mela content in it. Then, I have some base encode 64 encoded secret. Then, in the third file, I have some API keys. So, I'll put this information. Let me put this information. Let's run through this. So all the three files are created. Now if you see, I am inside secure files right now. Okay. Now what will happen without Talisman, if I try to do a commit, it will go in easily. I will be able to do commits. Correct. There is no restriction. I will be able to do commits. And later if I want to push it, it can even let me push things. It will not even go and check what exactly you are trying to push. That is not re a git responsibility. Okay. So how do we set up Talisman? There are two ways, as I said, global and single. So for this demo, we'll stick with single. These are the steps. Where exactly you will find out the steps? You can simply go on GitHub of Talisman. I'll put this link and this link both in my description for your reference. So in this, you can simply go on install for single project. So guys, I'm using git bash over here. So this bash you can easily download, go on Google, look for git bash for windows. So this shell, which I'm using, this, this is very handy. The, uh, I, so you can go and install this git bash for your windows machine. And if you're using Linux and Mac OS, you can use your own terminal. There's no issue. Okay. These are the steps you need to follow in order to set up Talisman, single project Talisman. Firstly, let's go and run this curl command and install talisman so basically the ins install talisman.sh got installed on your home directory if you go back to your home directory and if you see you will find out the file right over here the second is run the cmod give execute permission so cmod is for giving execute permission now there are two ways installed to a single project now go to your project. So that's your project is there on your desktop. So let's go to desktop and that is Dave Secops. So I'm inside my project right now. Okay. Now there are two, as I said, there are pre push hook, which will not let you push. So it will let you commit. So it will basically let you commit your changes to your local if you want, but it will not let you push any sensitive information in your repository 
whether it's GitHub, GitLab, or Bitbucket. In my case, I'm using Azure Repo, so it will not let you do that. So let's try this first. So let's go and run this command install talisman.sh. Okay. Make sure you are inside the project before you go and run run this command. Okay, perfect. So if you see this, Talisman successfully installed. And where do you verify if it is installed or not? You can simply go to this clone. And dot .git, this is a hidden file guys. If you go inside dot .git, if you go in hooks, inside hooks, you will find pre push hooks, which is installed now. How do we test it? Let's do a quick commit and let's try to push things. Let's do a add. Let's do a commit. Testing. Okay. So no problem. We, are, we were able to commit. Now let's try to do a push. Let's see if Talisman is able to find out things or not. Hmm. Perfect. So as expected, there are a couple of issues which Talisman has found. The first is expected file not to contain base64 encoding. So in the file there is a base64 encoding so it is not letting it. It's a clear indication that you cannot push this. That Then there are potential secret pattern matching plus there are potential secret pattern matching. And if you can see, see the severity, it's high, low, low. So Talisman is not letting you push any sensitive information remotely now. This is because we got git push hooks enabled. Now, if you want to avoid, you can simply create a dot talisman rc file, and in that file, you just have to put this checksum. So it will avoid and it will let still let you push things if you want to do it. Now, this was about pre push, guys. So I'll, I'll show you the avoid, avoid thing later. But for now, if you want to have, if you don't want any sensitive information to pass your commit as well even you can do that you can simply install this this is already committed if you, if you need to install this hook so you, you will have pre-commit hooks as well so the way I, I was able to commit it will not let you commit also forget about pushing on your local it will not let you commit also that is something we'll see later for now let's create this file the lisman rc file Uh, before that, I need the content. Let's do a push again. I need this checksum, guys. So this is required. So let's copy this and put it on a notepad at the bottom somewhere over here. Now let's create this Talisman RC file. So I'll be using VI editor. Perfect. It's a hidden file again. And I just need to copy and paste the entire thing. Perfect. Okay, let's go and do a git add and commit again. Added talisman rc file. RC file. Okay, now if I try to push, let's see if if it is allowing us to push the sensitive data or not. So there was no issue. Talisman did its scan. There's no issue. It was able. To, I was able to successfully push my changes remotely. See this. I got all my files. This is file one. And if I go back, you can even see the sensitive information over here. So these are all dummy information, guys. So this is not exactly sensitive. This is randomly generated base64 and API keys. So Nothing will happen with these files right now. So this is just, just for demo. Now the other demo, if you want the pre-hook commits and post that if you are trying to push any sensitive information, the listener will start checking that files also. If you want to test it, let's go in. Let's go to the git and get this pre-commit installed. Perfect. So you got your pre-commit installed. Now 
I don't have any sensitive data now. So let's use this only and let's change the file name. Let's have the file name as file 4. And let's change something inside it. Okay, so this is how I have created this data. Done. Now let's do a git add. And let's try to do a git commit and see if it's letting us commit this sensitive information or not. Testing pre commits. Okay. Perfect. See this Talisman report? It is not letting me commit the data now. So such tools you need to be if you if you are working with Git a lot and if you are working as a DevOps engineer and if you want to have some sort of security in place so that the developers are not pushing any sensitive data elsewhere then this is the right tool Talisman so I'm not enforcing to use Talisman there are n number of other tools pre hook and pre push commit tools in the market this is the tool which I have come across I have found very user friendly which you can definitely use and recommend others to use. So that's it for me guys. If you have any questions, doubt, please put your queries in the comment box or you can even visit my website devopsmila.in and you can send me, send me, send your query directly on my email ID as well. That is devopsmila at gmail.com and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.